What's going on, everybody? This is Jesse Carter over at the Pro Wrestling Shoot Podcast, and you are listening to Conrad Cushman and Everything Pro Wrestling. And Derek, I'm with you, my man. Fuck trios matches. Bow. Folks, welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling. Everything Pro Wrestling is a show by the fans. For the fans. I'm your host, Conrad Cushman, being joined tonight by the man they call Derek. Yo, we are here to review a little AEW Dynamite for July 27th, 2022. This one had a lot packed in, and I thought this show was way better than last week's episode. Way better. Yes. So can't wait to get into some of it and talk with you guys. We're also going to try to get some of Derek's thoughts on what's been going on with the WWE at the end of the podcast. So make sure you guys stick around and get ready to talk some pro wrestling with us. And if you guys don't know. We always, always got to start this thing off right with the intro from my boy, Monteezy. Let's get it. All right. Derek. What's going on in the world of softball first? Ah, man. So we we lost a big tournament. Hold on. I'm going to pull this mic a little bit closer to you because you're talking a little low for me. Oh, my bad. My bad. No, go ahead. So uh, we, we lost a big tournament this past weekend. Um, we fought hard, but the bats just weren't working. Um, we really needed that one. But we came back home the next day, Monday night, to shut out a team to win our league championship. So we got that going. And then next week we're back out for our last tournament of the season before the off season starts. Got to win that one, bring that one home, set everything straight. That's about it. There you go. Um, For you guys, give me a little update of what's been going on on the channel. I don't know if you saw it. I was on vacation last week and I think I had videos on someone's podcast or my podcast every single day. Uh, There is coverage with me and Sean Hubbard of Hubbard Wrestling Weekly. We cover the Vince McMahon stuff. Huge. If you guys could share that video, it's at about 650-ish for views. I'm trying to get that bad boy to 1K. So share with your friends. Share with people who don't even know about wrestling. It seems like that resonated with a lot of people. They were talking about it. So please check out that video. I did a Ring of Honor uh, review, but it was audio only. See, got to be subscribed on Spotify, Google Podcasts. We had stuff all over the place. We had last week's show uh, for AEW. Um, I'm trying to think if we had anything else going on. Uh, I appeared on Lotus Moon's podcast, so check that out. I was a guest talking about, once again, Ring of Honor and the Vince McMahon stuff and even got into some of the Triple H stuff that we're going to have Derek get into tonight. But we won't waste too much of your time, folks, with all that. Make sure you hit the like button if you're watching this live. We always say it's a show by the fans for the fans. If you hear me talking on the audio version, the interaction is with the people in the live YouTube chat. And come on over. We'd love to have you search everything pro wrestling on YouTube. B-Boy Skyline in the house. He says, ear. He also said, I might have to head to Canada in October. More on that momentarily, good sir. Matt Lopez says, good evening, everyone. Um, Matt says, the trios championships look nice. That ending was too hairy for my liking, PJ said. <laughs> AEW needs to get some manscape and have those finishes be clean like the lawnmower 3.0. BJ, since you set it up so beautifully, he said he doesn't like things being too hairy. And I agree. This was once me. You don't want to walk around looking like that. Look at that bush. You just don't <laughs> want that hanging there, right? So if you guys get that lawnmower 4.0, you guys could touch up and be looking real good. Also, spent some hot days here in Buffalo, man. I've been using that ball deodorant and that ball toner, and it works perfectly. Leaving the boys smelling great. So make sure you guys get it. And guess what? It doesn't matter. This is a great gift for anyone. That lawnmower works like a butte. I highly recommend it. And same promo code, EPW Show. Let me put that. Let me put that comment down here. BJ hogging up the screen there. Powerslam.tv, same promo code EPW show. You guys can get yourself some free pro wrestling on us. 
We would love to see you guys check out some free pro wrestling. So make sure you guys do that for us. All right. Uh, back to the comment section here. We got people talking. I love it. I love it. Uh, BJ, thank you, though, for the, the plug. Like, you are the best with that, with the transitions. Uh, positively, E says, wrestling. What's going on, E? Yo, E, what's up with the THQ Nordic, my brother? You got to let me know, like, what's good with that, man? All right? Let me know. If you find out anything, let me know. Deanna says, hey, guys. Deanna, what is going on? What's up? What's up? Lovely Deanna. Always holding it down for EPW. We may have to give you the crown soon. Right. Uh, Eric Douglas said three things. One, congrats to the new champ. Uh, I want to see Dante Martin at least be the TNT champion. I think he'll get there eventually, Eric. He's he's really young, bro. He's got a lot of time. And soon, and soon, and three amazing win for Garcia. We're gonna talk about all of that within this. Jesus Delion, what's going on, Jesus? He said, "Sup, Conrad and Derek." Also, Conrad, join the house of Derek. Why, why do I have to join something? Why can't we just, <laughs> you know, be ourselves? Derek Fleming says, passing through, showing some love, brother. Derek, I appreciate you, man. I see that nice picture with uh, Mr. Uh, Dan House in there. Cray said, what up, guys? What's going on, Cray? What up, what up? Sick also in the house. What's good, Sick? Shout out to the homies from XGW. Uh, A said, trios titles are here. Hey, Zeus. Is back saying uh, Mock Starks, Jungle Boy cut some fire promos, and Daniel Garcia came with a big W tonight. Congrats to him. Six at WrestleMania in Philly this year. Yes, WrestleMania 40 has been announced for Philly. I may go, but I'm only going for the cheesesteak, baby. You know how that goes. <laughs> King of the campus, baby. <laughs> oh, man. No, I'm thrilled. I'm only going to go to gyms probably and be out. <laughs> We'll see, man. It depends on the price of them tickets, man. WrestleMania's gotten real expensive lately. It's like a G oh. just to go to that. Uh, that's some giant bush, Foul says. Shout out to Foul. Yo, Foul. What's good, Foul? Foul. Foul's been on uh, his Twitch, man, doing a bunch of things, man. Check out Foul Original on Twitch. Uh, he's doing some good work over there. Saw him playing his guitar. Uh, I love it, man. Great improvement if you follow Foul's musical journey, man. I love what you're doing, brother. My man, foul. Smooth like two freshly boiled eggs. BJ, respect, bro. Uh, What up, CJ? What up, Derek? What up, E? Oh, he putting the baseball out there. Deanna's putting ha, ha, ha. Ricky Spanish. Uh -uh, Uh-uh, uh-uh. We ain't doing none of that yet. Don't get him started. Uh, This is an interesting statement, by the way. Hangman Page and the Bucks. Yes, we're going to get into that, too. Was it me or did this show flow and not feel rushed? Yes, I definitely felt that tonight as well. They had stuff, have moments. They let it breathe. What do you know? It feels good. Screen cap that curse pose. BJ, you got to you gotta get that for us, man. Right in the beginning of the podcast, somebody screen cap Derek doing the Dan Housen pose. <laughs> Conrad, are you excited for Flair's final match? Uh, the cart looks pretty good for it overall. It's going to be on Fight TV. Make sure you guys check that out. Um, but, yeah, I'm interested to see what they do for it. I'm going to be checking it out on Sunday. Uh, e said, I know what you mean. I know uh, what you want. THQ Nordic. Kenny confirmed that's the publisher. THQ Social Media kind of teased it. Digital Showcase Friday, August 12th. If you are into the AEW video game, you might want to watch that. Maybe we'll find out about it. That WrestleMania 40 sounds tempting. Get an EPW RTR fundraiser going. Laugh out loud. I'll sling some candy bars if I got it. Listen, man, we may have to try to get the box seats. I need that cool air. Yes. East Coast WrestleManias are tough, though. Like, I went to 29 and 33. 33 was so hot that I was getting bit up by bugs, and 29 was so damn cold. I had, like, a hoodie and a jacket on. I'm like, yo, I need Kane or Booker T or someone to come out. Who got fire for the pyro? Right? Uh, Foul said, thank you, fellas. I'm excited to see your take on the FTW segment tonight, right? Six said, missing Kenny Omega. There's a rumor on that. Kenny might be back real soon, I'm hearing now. Real soon. Let's get into the show. We start off tonight with the AEW interim champion, John Moxley, taking on Roosh. Now, this was a uh, fan friggin' tastic match, if I may say so <laughs> myself. Uh, I really like this one. Um, I-, I just like John Moxley, man. His championship reign has been fun. Derek, I don't know what you know about Roosh or how you felt about him in this matchup, but Roosh 
showing some pretty uh, unique styles that he could do. Yeah. Similar to an Andrade, I would say. Just uh, He's more of the powerhouse, I feel, of the group with the power slams and yeah. Yeah. everything he gets into. But what did you think of Roosh's performance tonight? Did he impress you? Are you looking forward to seeing more from him? Um, I saw – I remember seeing a little bit of Roosh. Um, I wasn't I wasn't too impressed when I did see him a while back. But this, this was when, like, I believe this is when he first came out and I first – Started. Oh, you're talking about when he was in Ring of Honor when he, yeah, before he was champion. I think he was at one of the shows we went to, yeah. So, I mean, he didn't really have like, um, like a big role, all like that. But in this match, though, first of all, let me, let me, let me congratulate, congratulate the people who made up his thing. That thing was dope. Oh, yeah, it was really good. That thing uh, was dope. Shout out to Hassan Terrell. What's going on? I appreciate you, Hassan, coming in, stopping in, showing some love. Yo, yo. Uh, Matt Lopez said, I missed when WrestleMania was in MSG. Uh, Mox made <laughs> Roosh look more of a threat. Um, man, Mox ha- has going to have a lot of scar tissue. Yeah, he was busted open real quick in the beginning of this. Yeah, he but was. That's Moxley, though, man. Oh, yeah. I, you know, he, he's prepared for that. All, like, wow, all day. Da, 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 da. I love it, bro. You make my heart. I can't do it, bro. You just stop thinking of Charlie Sheen. That, that's all I can think about, bro. <laughs> that's it. That's all I can hear. That's all I see. Major League, bro. Yeah. Um, sick coming back saying Roosh's match at ROH was so dope. I agree. Roosh and Dragon Lee stole the show, I feel. I didn't watch that. Yeah, got so, yeah, I gotta go back and watch it. I'll let you I'll let you check it out one of these days. But uh no, I you know what? I meant the- order it on BR Live, wink face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um no, I I definitely like this match. This match was Definitely brutal. Um, Mox definitely made Roosh look like a, a crazy, crazy how, uh, powerhouse, which which is nice. Yeah. Some people actually need that kind of burn. And I love his cockiness. Like, even in the yes. match with his brother, bro, I don't know. I don't know if you're actually going to go back and watch it. No, Lara, what's going on? No, I'm going to watch it. Um, I kind of want to ruin one part for you. Yeah, I mean. It really enhanced his character. So Dragon Lee is Roosh's brother. Oh, okay. Most people don't know that. So I didn't know that. Very interesting. He does something in the ROH match that I absolutely love. I mentioned it in the review. Uh, it was the fake out part. You guys will know what I'm talking about in there. But I stayed away from that review because I, I definitely wanted to watch it. So I stayed away from it. All right. Well, I'm going to let that one slide. <laughs> Remind me to 10% off the pay. Uh, I can see Mox losing it to Jericho. Uh, El Toro Blanco sounds promising, but also feels like uh, mid tempted queso Blanco. Uh, I think he's got great ability, but I just don't ever feel connected. Okay, interesting. El Toro Blanco, people throwing out the hand symbol. Um, uh, so Anna Jay's a heel now. What happens to the dark order now? It looks like they're gonna keep trudging along here, apparently. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's almost kind of like they're gonna make them a parody a little bit. We'll get into that when we get into that segment, but let's finish up this match real quick. Mox is bleeding. We get some uh, a nice cross face done by Roosh. Moxley bites his hand. Moxley is able to uh, push Roosh uh, from the top rope. Andrade comes down to lend some assistance, apparently. The Lucha Bros came out, and they chased off Andrade. I cannot wait for that tag match. I'm telling you, it's going to be a sleeper banger. Yes. It's going to be really good. And uh, they chase him off. Roosh is able to hit a, po- a straight jacket pile driver. I've never seen. He crossed his arms and just pile oh, drove yeah. him. Oh, God, that was dope. That was good. And then he gets a two count. And then uh, Roosh goes for his finish at the corner. Mox moves. He hits the death rider. Roosh kicks out. And then Moxley just goes for the bulldog choke. Chokes his ass out. And that's it. The aggression. It was really good. It was good. It was, it was definitely good. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting a crazy amount of action like what like i'm not action but um veracity we'll say okay but um i enjoyed it this 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 was almost like a pay-per-view match for me yeah it was it was a solid opener i thought for the world title so immediately following the match here comes the jas jericho comes out he mentioned that uh sammy's going to defeat dante martin and he said anna jay called him last week for an opportunity (laughs) Interesting, interesting. Anna Jay cuts a promo. She seems like a spaz a little bit in it. So we'll see if that's going to continue. He said Eddie Kingston broke his nose and threw him, excuse me, 
into a uh, barbed wire spider web and he had to be cut open. Jericho's nose was actually broken. Like you could see his eyes were like black and blue. It was terrible. I think it's from when the chair bounced back and hit him in the face. Yeah. That match was Oh, no, actually, no, bro. It might have been. He got He caught him with a hammer fist, didn't he? No, he, he did the back fist, but I think that was where they botched and like it was oh, the whole man. they were tangled up. He caught him with it eventually, but I don't think that was it. I think it was that chair that because he kept grabbing his nose after. Yeah, he, no, he checked right. his eye too because right. I was like, yeah. So barbed wire matches, kids, don't do those. Nope. All right, even for the professionals. <laughs> so he starts complaining about that. He says that uh, he starts talking crap about Kingston. The fans love Eddie Kingston still. This man is still over, and it's evident here. If you're saying no or you hear someone say otherwise, you're lying to yourself, bro. Absolutely. You're playing yourself. Don't do that. Nope. Don't do that. So afterwards, Moxley gets on the mic, and he just says he can't stand Chris Jericho and his bullshit. <laughs> he says, pack your own bag when we uh, have this title match that you're challenging me to. And Moxley said that he doesn't want the champion. He doesn't want the wizard. He wants... The Lionheart, Chris Jericho, to face him once it's time. And Jericho looked like he was ready to step up. And it sounds like it's going to happen at Quake on the Lake. They're going to be in Minnesota, the real home of the Lakers. Yeah, I said that for all you L.A. fans out there. They've just ruined they've ruined my childhood, all right? So I'm hating. But that is the original place of the Lakers, though. Yes. And Quake by the Lake is going to be happening. And it, it looks like it's going to be a pretty big show for them. So... I don't know. Moxley Jericho. Does Jericho stand a chance there? Yeah. I I, th- I think this is going to be one hell of a match, bro. I, I'm I'm not too sold on John keeping it. Jericho might take it. He could. If, if he comes back with, well, not comes back. If he comes out with the Lionheart Jericho, that might be <laughs> that that might be it, bro. I don't know if y'all saw that. Derek definitely almost punched me, right? Assault. Uh, Cray said, yeah, he broke his nose. He posted it on social media. Kingston needs to be TNT champion at Arthur Ashe. I think we might see Kingston Jericho rematch at Arthur Ashe. Yeah. Uh, BJ said, check Messenger when you can. Okay. Um, but we get the setup for that. And then, let me see here. Eric says, I can see Chris taking it. Ooh. Okay, you guys are coming. Interesting. I'm not mad. I am not mad. I definitely see it, bro. <laughs> Yo, BJ, I love you, bro. Great screen <laughs> capture of it, man. Yeah, um, BJ, my boy. <laughs> right? So, more on that momentarily. <laughs> you are too funny, bro. Too funny for that. Um, we got we got to talk about it. So after this, we get a look, Derek. We get a look at the trio's titles design, bro. Boo. Now, when you see this, what do you think, though? Th- those aren't pretty belts. They are. I- I'm not even going to front. Those belts are sexy, bro. They, they, you know, they, they're nice and shiny, but I don't care for the trio. Those belts are sexy. <laughs> those belts look good, bro. I just want to take a bite out of them. Come on, bro. I guess the trio, Trito's tag team lives on, bro. Yes. Man. You need to stop hating. Shout out to Sig. He said, Kingston's going to be AW champ. Stop sleeping on my boy. Derek, you love it, man. Deanna said, I like him. Um, this, this, these look good, Derek. The, the, they, fir- the first, the, the first, bro, I promise you, the first, first. Sloppy thing. I'm denouncing these damn titles. I promise you. Going in the trash. I fucking hate this dude. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> Hating, bro. Hating. I'm just saying, bro. So, in the chat, someone correct me. They were speaking really fast. It sounds like we're getting these titles crowned at All Out. This was the best image I could get for it. So, AEW All Out, Sunday, September 4th. It sounds like that's when the champions will be crowned. Matt Lopez, someone, let me know if I'm correct on my thinking there. And let me just get another closer look. When I saw these titles, bro, I instantly thought WCW Television Championship from back in the day. These belts look nice. I, I Chat, see, tell me what you think. I can see that, but I also see um, 
WWE Intercontinental. Just because of the world, the, the globe. Okay. With, with a, t- uh, a hint of the blue on the in, on the Intercontinental title. Okay. All right. I'm going to allow this. Hold on here. I saw someone say they agree with Derek. We got beef. Hold on here. <laughs> Trios is so nice, uh, B-Boy says. Where have Kyle? Where has Kyle O'Reilly been? He's injured, Eric. Eric, like if it, you don't see them on TV, they're probably hurt right now. Love them, WCW World Trios titles. <laughs> I kind of agree with Derek in this. AW hardly had a tag team division. What do you mean hardly had a tag team division? Um, no way, bro. No way. Their tag division is. So listen, if you had me rank the divisions, the one thing I don't think anybody's touching AW on New Japan. Uh, you name the promotion. What AW is the best at to me is tag team wrestling. Their low card people in tag team wrestling should be champions. I feel anywhere else they would go and take the belts. Butcher and Blade are destroying people in Impact, in my opinion. They would be the champions wherever they went. Um, I'm trying to think. Best Friends would be the tag champions. I think if they were in another promotion. The problem is their tag division is so good, and you're always promised good tag team matches. Uh, that's just my opinion on it. I don't know if you feel the same. No, I I think they do have um, a good tag team division. I I, I just don't care for the trios. I, I think it's just too much going on at one time. Like it, I feel I feel like if you're gonna have that many people in the ring for a match, it needs to be a uh, battle royale or royal rumble. Okay, that that that's just how I feel about it because it, there's too much room for mistakes With- to happen. I feel you, bro, but re- yeah. res- here's my thing. Wrestling today is so different, though. Like, it's not 1980 anymore where you can get away with just club, body slam, I'm going to drop the elbow, we go home, and that's it, kid. True. You can't do that anymore. No, now true. it's flippity, flip, 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 flip. We got to remember the spot. We got to do this. We got to do that. And hopefully it works. And they're trying to do so much crazy stuff that it's like, dude, there's the, the margin for error is like this now when it used to be like, all right, y'all just got to be, like, really close and be careful, all right? That to me, that's the difference. It is. I mean, it it bodes it bodes for an exciting match. I will say that, but then it also takes the wind out of your, out of your sails when you see someone going for a punch, and all of a sudden it's just like, well, hold on, bro, you need to get back in your spot. Where are you? I need I need you for this punch. Listen, I'm not mad. You're not telling full lies. <laughs> You're just being harsh. Uh, e says it looks good around Rick Rude and Big Van Bader's waist too. Derek's gonna act like Cora Jade. He better not throw no titles in the trash. Derek is the undisputed and eight and ass world champ. <laughs> the finals is at all out. Thank you, Matt. Derek is a hater. <laughs> no more titles, Tony Khan. You good? Yeah, I think this is it for titles for now. Yeah. ECW TV, maybe not WWF IC title. Uh, okay. Yeah. I knew they reminded me of something. You're right, man. The WCW TV title looking kind of familiar right now. House of Black first trios champions, Jesus says. AW trios is going to be lit just bum because I think that they could have been uh, great across the brand belt. Yeah, Tony said he didn't want any titles going across the brands. And ROH has their own trios titles. Uh, Dark Order, The Elite, Death Triangle, House of Black, uh, Blackpool Combat Club, Best Friends, JAS, and more. Just off the top of my head, fire matches. I think it's going to be good, man. I, I really do. Um, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Like I said, those belts are sexy. I don't care what anybody says. I like them a lot. Uh, I was a big fan of that WCW. I was really just watching Stephen Regal uh, win back the television title today from Lex Luger. <laughs> Why? Just because. I don't know. It was on YouTube, and I was like, oh, let me watch this for a second. He's a man. <laughs> um, after that, we get Dante Martin backstage. He is talking about uh, he's with Tony Schiavone saying that he's going to have someone in his corner to help with Ty Conti. And it's Sky Blue. I like it, two of the young up-and-comers. Facts. And, uh, yeah, it's going to help balance the match. Quick little it is. promo. It is. And then we get to uh, the match that we were all promised and looking forward to. The FTW Woo-hoo. champion, Ricky Starks, versus uh, Dan Housen. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not as good as uh, Ricky at doing it. <laughs> But I thought that this was a, a tremendous setup. Juggernaut, year, what's good, bro? Yo, yo, yo. Just talking about them trios titles. You just missed it, Juggernaut, but what's going on? Good looking, uh, show opening, crowd hyping titles. See? 
You know, BJ, you know. Dan Housen and Ricky Starks, listen, I'm not going to front. We have fajitas tonight for dinner, right? Shout out to Rob. And while we were having the fajitas, I literally went in. I was putting together all my stuff. I'm like, okay, we're going to do this. Got some chicken. Going to have that. I literally come back in, and all I saw was Dan Housen got dog walked. Like, he was done. One, two, three. Ricky wins in short fashion. He gets the W. Ricky Starks wins. And he's like, listen, if anybody Ricky. wants to- Spanish. I don't know if you're going to be saying this anymore. I really don't. He says, Ricky. If y'all don't fire, if y'all don't fire this man, I'm telling you. He says, I'm serious this week. Whoever wants to come out, I'll accept the challenge from anybody right now. Well, he's on the mic and he's waiting. And who comes out? Nonetheless, but our boy, Hook is going to come out and challenge for the FTW title. Now, Derek. Wait a minute. You have minute, shit. Wait a, minute, wait a minute. Time out. Time out. What? Now, go, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. All right. You have shit on Hook. Time after time after time. Now, Hook comes out. It's not a long match either, but it was a good match, I thought. They went back and forth. Ricky hit a nice spear on him. It was Hook had to sell a little bit in this one. Ricky goes for the Rochambeau eventually, and Hook is able to turn around and lock in the red rum. The Taz mission. It's Taz. Whatever you want to say. He locks it in. Ricky falls. He's standing up. He tries to roll through, but he can't roll through because he's stuck in it. He locks it in. Then you just see the tap. Yes. Yes. Hook is the FTW champion following in his father's black and orange legacy it's time baby my man hooks got the strap i was so happy to see it ah. what a fucking hater bro <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> i'm just saying bro i i, I need a, i need a real good match bro <laughs> Yo, this dude can't be serious, right? I just, I just need a real good match, bro. That that that's all I need. That's all I need. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. What more do you? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what more could you want from this man? What more could you want? Man, listen, I'm going to tell y'all right now. Your boy Derek's on some... I'm being serious. Like, it's starting to piss me off. I don't know what he wants this dude to do. Dan Housen had to lose for Hook to win, Deanna said. Chad Schrader said, what up, Kyra and Derek? What's going on, Chad? What up, Chad? Uh, yo, Hook look like Goku nah, tonight. Chill out, bro. Don't say that garbage. <laughs> Hook rocking Taz's colors. He did come out in the orange. I knew as soon as I saw the orange shirts, I'm like, Hook winning this joint, bro. Uh, people love the Ricky Spanish. Ricky is going to be true superstar, uh, top baby face for AEW. Yeah, we'll get into that. Uh, I called that Hook winning the strap off of Ricky. Fact sick. I think we all saw that one coming, bro. Derek's hating. You bring up a very, very valid point, good sir. Ha! Oh wait, how? So, bro, you hating, Derek? Why? We told you about this. <laughs> we told you Go about on, the hating. On a scale of one to ten, where you rank it? What the match? Yeah. I mean, that's not really fair to yeah. say. Oh, see, <laughs> that's tough. To, well, it was <laughs> a short. It, it was a short match. Okay, so we can't really we can't really say it was a good match. It did it. It did its due diligence. Did it not? Well. <laughs> Thank you, BJ. Thank you for just telling me to do it because he needed it. 
Congrats to Hook on beating Ricky Spanish, and thank God. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's finish this. So Hook wins. Ricky Starks gives him a pound after beating him. He's like, you got me, kid. Good job. And then this leads to they cut back from an interview segment, and he's in the ring still with Powerhouse Hobbs now. And Ricky cuts the passionate promo of his life. He said, they told you, wait your turn. I'm tired of waiting my turn. I'm the best on this microphone. I've always given it my all. Cartfell babyface promo. I'm not even doing it justice. Go back and watch it. And literally, he's like, yeah, and we got this. And the next time we're getting ready to challenge me and my man Powerhouse, the man, yo, when I say that you heard the sound from it, Ricky Starks felt the wrath. Powerhouse Hobbs yeeted that ass, bro. He took him down. Ricky's down and out. And Hobbs left his ass high and dry. And they let it sink in. This is what I'm talking about when I said let the show breathe. They zoomed in on Hobbs's face. And he was like, I'm not playing with you. He got the nasty snarl. He was like, yo, this dude's a punk. Like, And I think he's going to blame him for all the losses because Ricky's been the one eating the pins. Yes. He gave him the spine on the pine, put him down. Powerhouse Hobbs is like he's setting stuff up in his own way. That he is. That he is. But, I mean, you know what? It had to happen. It had to happen because we needed to see both of them on their own at this moment. Yeah. Matt Lopez said how Molly whopped Ricky. <laughs> Uh, like I said, the undisputed, undefeated, hating ass world champ Derek. Also, hookers in the house. Put the hooks up, baby. Only small issue is why break up Hobbs and Starks almost made no sense. No, it does. Ricky's been losing all the matches, and then he got he kind of went soft. Like when you start talking like a baby face as a heel, you're like, oh, you you went soft, bro. And he was like, oh, we can't have that. Uh, so who do you want Hook to face then, Derek? He can face anybody. Like give give me a good lengthy match that's all i'm asking all i'm asking five minutes is not a good match for me bro laughing my ass off i remember that what promo (laughs) powerhouse Hobbs turns his uh turns on ricky starks hook is now goku ricky said rock jr starks uh let it play out a said keep paul white off my television (laughs) my match of the night was hook beating the heck out of ricky spanish hook is goldberg laugh out loud VJ just putting up the choke slam. Uh, Starks as a baby face should be great. When Hook flipped out of his hip toss and landed that overhead suplex, fire. Good point, Rob. I actually had turned my head on that and missed that too. Molly whopped. Heartbroken, love Starks and Hobbs. Me too. Me too. Uh, powerhouse Hobbs is Broly. Uh, Eric put, well, Hook doesn't need a long match. He's that good. No. Positively eat. Bro. You look, no. you you book someone successful. He has his first long match. You're gonna be impressed. You're like, oh, this is different. <laughs> you watch. That's what I want, Captain Insano. And I do like that they started him slow. He didn't win a major title. He won the FTW title in honor of his father. I kind of want them to retire that belt. We got a lot of belts in that, They should they should after after he won. Yeah, That's I don't it. think I don't think anyone else needs it. I still kind of want to keep Taz's lineage uh, respectful. Yeah. Um. You know, I just got an idea. Well, what was what was uh. Matt Lopez's thing? Molly Wapped? No, no, no. Hating ass world champ? Yeah, hold on. We got to save that. I got an idea for that. Don't worry. We'll call you a hater again soon. <laughs> I promise. Connor knows soccer. Hello, Connor. And Derek, I really enjoyed the show tonight. Facts, Connor. Tell me why. Tell me what you enjoyed. Next up, we got this dude. We got Sammy Guevara. And Spanish Dan- God. You got anything for Ty Conti? <laughs> it's not it's not not safe to say. <laughs> Do not get fired or suspended, Derek. Dante Martin's also in the house for this one. Um, we got ourselves a little bit of a match. Dante's hitting some high risk offense. He even did a nice flip off the stage in the beginning before a commercial break. Dante does a flip off of the ropes, and I think he hurt his ankle, bro. It looked like it. That looked like one of them basketball, like you twisted up your ankle. Yeah. Um, didn't look good. That's yeah, all gotta, keep, gotta keep him healthy, bro. Because Yeah, stop doing all them damn flips, people. So Especially, sometimes it's not needed. I know it's part of his offense, though. But he looks like he was trying to recover. Eventually, he's going for uh, his moonsault finisher. Sammy is able to duck out of the way, counter that. He goes for his own springboard cutter, lands it. Dante Martin almost did a damn split to take that. That's why I knew his ankle was really jacked. Yeah. And then uh, afterwards, he hits the go to hell, the uh, reverse GTS. One, two, three. 
Sammy wins. And he's like, you know what? I'm bored. Put the boots to him, babe. Him and his girl start stomping out uh, homeboy here. They start putting him towards the corner, and then here comes Sky Blue. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't do that. Sky Blue then catches some beat down for her, for her luck. And then here comes, yo, I don't know if Eddie Kingston was about to swing on a chick, but Eddie Kingston came out mad as hell. Ruby Soho was out there, too. Oh, man. They were ready to throw down. And Ortiz as well. So they made the save. Babyface is making the save. The best. <laughs> the best. The best. Uh, let me see here. Dante tweaked his leg. Um, hold on. Someone's go- going to expose Hook. Cra- I don't know if y'all know this, but Hook trained at the same place MJF did. These dudes are really good. Like, I don't think they're showing you everything they can do. I'm pretty sure they can do, like, moonsaults and flips. And they're just like, no, I'm not doing that. I don't need to do that. Like, MJF knows how to do all that stuff, but he just doesn't do it. Uh, Hook's lost. Uh, wait, Hook loses the belt to Dante Martin soon. I don't know if I see that. I really enjoyed Moxley versus Rusha a whole lot. Okay. Dante tweaked his leg. Sammy botched his springboard cutter tonight. I don't think Sammy botched it, bro. I think Dante's foot, he couldn't move. That ankle was cooked. Is it me or does Sky Blue sort of doesn't want to be there? No, Sky Blue wants to be there. Sky Blue is young as well. They're they're rookies, man. You gotta they're they're trying to find themselves. So give them some time. My match of the night. You know I love my flippy shit. Me too, sick. Me too. Hating hating ass over here. <laughs> hating ass world champ. Pope Dante's okay. Uh, dude, I can't help it. Sammy has just not worked as a heel for me. Always feel uh, go away levels instead of I don't know good type of heel stuff. They this even ruined Anna for me now. Anna, Anna, <laughs> why why? Why Sky Blue? Watch her man get whooped at first. She should have flew in that ring. You're not wrong, Cray. Sky Blue Chew. Come on. Come on, E. Tell Blue Chew they need to sponsor EPW. Tag them on Twitter, man. Come on. I'll get nasty with it if they uh, they give me the chance. Listen, we'll, we'll, we'll get a whole pro, a whole promo for that. Just got to show Derek a baseball trade. Remind me to show it to you after. It was oh. for the Yankees. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Trade coming in. Sorry. All right. Do 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 do. Uh, just <laughs> I don't know why you reminded me of like Beavis and Butthead when you just <laughs> said that. Come to Butthead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Daniel yeah. Garcia cuts a promo. He's talking about how he's going to whoop Brian Danielson in his first match back tonight and take him out. And for some reason, Daniel Garcia doesn't like gardens. Jay Lethal, Sanjay Dutt, and Satnam Singh are cutting a promo, and then they are challenged by the best friends to a trios match on Rampage, baby. Uh, Sanjay Dutt's going to be wrestling. Listen, I'm telling y'all, if you see that moon stomp, you will cringe. That's why I don't wrestle. If someone ever said they want to do the moon stomp on me, if you don't know what this is, look it up after this podcast. If you ever say, yo, can I do the moon stomp? I would be like, yo, I'm quitting wrestling tonight if I have to do this. I'm not doing this. (laughs) I don't trust someone to do a moonsault and land on my chest with their feet. Hell no. <laughs> but he finds a way. Uh, I, I, I want to see what Sanjay can do, though. <sighs> Tony Schiavone then gets his promo after this. <laughs> hey, and that's world champ. <laughs> People call JD from New York a WWE shill now. I hate this AEW versus WWE shit. Listen, man, you enjoy the content you want to enjoy, Tokyo. People are always going to start up that AEW, WWE bullshit. And guess what? Fuck them. I said it. I don't, we don't got time for that bullshiggity. Fuck them. Grow up, and you like what you like, bro. You know good stuff. You come in here to talk wrestling. Let's talk wrestling, bro. You don't have to pay attention to that hater shit. Next out was Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy cuts his first, like, solo big promo by himself, Derek. Smooth. I actually like it. Bro, he came out with Luchasaurus. He called Christian Cage a pussy. Like, yo, chill, my man. He came out Jungle Man tonight. He was like, yeah, yeah. He called him a pussy. He said that he's tired of hearing him talk shit about his family. Or, excuse me, he said bullshit talking about his family. Uh, He tells Christian he's too worried about his ex-wife or something like that. He said, call me. (laughs) Jungle Boy down with the MILFs? He could have had a film career, too. (laughs) <laughs> now that's your boy, the referee. <laughs> you gotta chill with that. <laughs> we have a, was he on the show tonight? I don't think I saw uh, him. I don't think so. I was hurt, man. So um, he said Christian pops up. 
very late reaction to the showing him in the arena. Like we saw it and we were like, why is Jungle Boy still talking? And then Chris was just like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> like, like a dad talking to his two-year-old son. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, so he starts yelling at him like, hey, what, what's going on here with all of this? And Christian said, listen, I wasn't running from you last week. I was scared of what I might do to you. Of course, a classic chicken shit move. Right. So Christian then starts talking all this mess. He said, how apropos that you're wearing a leather jacket. He he basically ribbed on Luchasaurus, too. This Luchasaurus shit, I don't trust it, bro. I don't know. A lot of people are like, oh, yeah. And Jungle Boy said Luchasaurus fooled Christian. He was really with him. Fuck all that, bro. <laughs> Luchasaurus was way better as a heel. I'm telling you now, Tony Khan, don't mess around with this shit. Yeah. yeah. Fix it. Let it be what it is. I don't want to see him doing all that flip shit. No. <laughs> he was way better without it. Yeah. No, no big man over the ropes. Stop. Don't do it. So. Don't do it. After this, the, he, Christian says, how apropos you're wearing a leather jacket. I think I'm going to put a leather body bag over you so you can join your father because you're going to be dead when I get my opportunity to face you. This match is happening at All Out. It's going to be a banger. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> it's going to be a banger. Christian needs to watch his mouth, though. He's talking crazy. Afterwards, talking too crazy, bro. <laughs> we get a little bit of a backstage. Look at all these damn backstage promos back-to-back. Here come the Young Bucks with annoying-ass Brandon Cutler, and he reminds them, hey, there's a trios tournament coming up. Oh, yeah? You guys want to tag with me? They say, hell no. Absolutely right, Young Bucks. The man just lost to my homie Baron Blade. Shout out to Baron Blade getting that first win on Dark Elevation. Um, they run into Hangman, and it's like the awkward ex-girlfriend scene. They're like, hey, 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 Hangman, listen, man, I've, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. Then here oh. come the Dark Order. Happy birthday, right. guys. I got you some broccoli because you don't like cake. And it got really weird. They're like, nah, go ahead, do your thing, man. We'll, we'll go do our thing. So, okay. Derek, is this a, is this a possible trios that we see? Hangman and the Bucks again? It seems like it. Seems like it. Uh, I I say we're going to have to wait and see to really get the full picture of what's really going to happen. Because I I, I don't think it'll be... I don't think it'll be concrete just yet. I think it's going to be a lot of persuasion. A lot of persuasion. Okay. In order for this this trio's match or this trio's tag team to happen or Kenny could come back and be with the bucks. That's the ultimate trio team right there. They're good. That is Uh, hello. I'm snake eyes. G I 2009. Bye. Hello. Snake eyes. Shout out to Vinny Vegas. Uh, Deanna says I am proud of jungle boy. He cut a big boy promo. Uh, let's see here. Matt Lopez says jungle boy watching too many Nick Gage promos. (laughs) Conrad's cussing like jungle boy tonight. Hey, man, I got to let loose a little bit here. Jungle Boy took Christian's Dragon Zord and his savageness. <laughs> Lucha Snake, he was still wearing his heel attire, Jesus says. Jungle Man uh, was unleashed in this promo. If Kenny can't, they got to get a cowboy. Apropos, Cody's words? Eh, I'm, don't get me started on Cody and his dictionary bullshit. Cody always loved using that big talk. Uh, hung Bucks are reuniting. I get the long story here, but the Young Bucks are always involved in stories on if people are friends with them or not. Change it up. Okay, fair point, BJ. Yeah. yeah. Jungle Boy, talk about uh, Christian's wife divorce, divorcing him, bringing up real life stuff in a wrestling promo. Facts. Baron Blade is a real wrestler. Uh, Or no, I'm sorry. Did I say Baron Blade? Baron Black, excuse me, from uh, AEW Dark. (laughs) Baron Blade from 2K. 100% 100% Craig, my bad. Positively, he said Vinny Vegas. Y'all know about Vinny Vegas, man. Shout out to Kevin Nash. Check out the uh, Click This Podcast if you haven't yet. Free promo, Nash. Hook me up, bro. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Let's get into the next match. Really not a lot to talk about with this one. So apparently, Mark Sterling was added to this match. It's a two-on-one match. Keith Lee's barb from ringside the hell we doing here man tony niece is out here it was it was a fine match i don't hate anything about this and i get it i think they're trying to give uh keith lee some time off to deal with the situation with his friend right perfectly fine so 
they did the they did their thing in this match. It was exactly what we would expect to see. It uh, Swerve ends up getting the win by pinning Mark Sterling because it's Mark Sterling, right? And uh, after the match, Keith Lee is laid out by Josh Woods. I like Josh Woods. I'm glad he's probably going to be part of uh, this roster. And Tony Nese sneaks up, puts a beat down on Swerve, and picks up the tag titles. Could Josh Woods and Swerve or uh, Tony Nese be a tag team getting ready to challenge Swerve in our glory? I think so. I think I think so. Um, I can see it. Yeah. Ricky Starks and Howes were ranked number three, but apparently they're gone. So right, yeah. So so that that number three spot gets vacated and given to the next. Uh, you know, it's I can I can see you know I can see Mark Sterling and uh, Tony Nese as a tag team. It would have. Or, or be, you mean um, Josh Woods? Oh yeah, Josh Woods. My bad. Um, and I think yeah. Mark Sterling would compliment Josh Woods too, even yeah. in ROH. Oh, so. absolutely. Um, I, I think that would work out perfectly. It gives Tony Nice more to do instead of just doing what he's been doing. Uh, shout out to B Boy Skyline. He said, "What if the Golden Lovers come back?" I think Kota Bushi's got to focus on his health and his family right now. But I would love to see them reunite eventually one day. BJ is part of a long over, overarching story that they always are going to come back to it. Uh, Derek, do you see Liv retaining at SummerSlam? Quick thoughts, I guess, on that. I would like to see her retain, but I don't think it's going to happen. Damn. Uh, Knowledge says, hi, Uncle CJ. (laughs) Shout out to my nephew, Knowledge, in the chat. Uh, Basketball phenom, I see you out there running your drills with your pops, man. Johnny, Johnny. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Handicap match, got to love that No Mercy booking up the APA in the parking lot. Dude, don't even remind me of that match in the story mode. What happened to Keith Lee's friend? Uh, We found out Keith Lee's friend had uh, stage four colon cancer, I believe it is. If I'm incorrect, I apologize to uh, Mr. Lee. But he said that his friend had cancer. This was after they won the tag title. So prayers up to Keith Lee. If if, if that is correct, stage four cancer is like, ugh, it's brutal. <laughs> Somebody says, sorry, E-boy, Coda's in the upside down. Yeah, he's, he's going to be gone for a little bit. He's still injured, too. He, he said he can't even do like a push-up or bench press with the oh, shoulder, man. how bad it is. He needs to get surgery, I think. Um, well, get it done. Malachi Black says that uh, he will make everyone worship Miro. By having him sit on the throne. So he's making promises to him. He said, instead of battling God, I can make you one. So that seems to be where they're going with this. Interesting. It very well is interesting. I need that Miro versus Malachi matchup. It's going to yeah. be good once it's time. Yeah, that, that, that'll be good. That'll be good. Then Brody King pops up and proceeds to talk crap about Darby <laughs> Allen. He's been beating the crap out Yo. of this dude every week, bro. He makes a challenge though. He says, "I want you in a ca- in a coffin match." Looks like that's gonna be heading down the pipeline. Yep, I'm 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 good with it. I, I'll take it. I'll take it. I liked it. Uh, let me see here. We said BJ said uh, I know, but it's like is Cody still our friend? Is Kenny still our friend? Is Hangman still our friend? Is Adam Cole still our friend? Is Red Dragon friends with us too? Oh hey, there's Hangman again. <laughs> BJ's tired of the friendships. Uh, shout out to E putting the prayers up to Mr. Keith Lee. And, yeah, I don't know who that is, but uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, uh, guy on Twitch. <laughs> right. Uh, Derek, I think she will with a special return coming. Okay. Brody tweeted, here lies Darby Allen tattoo he got. Yo, what? <laughs> Yo, chill with that. That low fest. So that's what's wrong with Brody. Too many tattoos. Right. Looking like Sons of Anarchy. Um, all right, let's get into this title match here. Thunder Rosa versus, uh, I know I'm, I always say Miyu Mi- Yamashita, but apparently it's, uh, I-, I think it was Yama Yamasha is how they said it. So maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I've always said, uh, Yamashita because that's how I thought it was said. Yo, shout out to Ant Won't Stop in the chat. If you guys haven't heard Angelico's new theme, Done by my boy Ant in the chat. A N T won't stop. Uh, Ant, dope theme, man. Thank you for coming in here. I appreciate you, bro. Um, TK, I locked down Cole five more years. Triple H can't have him. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got to chill with that. All right, running through this one pretty quick. Back and forth. A lot of technical wrestling early on. Uh, shout out to TJPW as well. Great Joshi Pro Wrestling. If you're into that. I would highly recommend you check out TJPW. If you like stardom, 
you'll like this as well, I think. Um, we get some good Northern Lights suplexes here from Thunder Rosa for a near fall. Uh, Yamashita hits a nice wheelbarrow German suplex. Doesn't have enough to get the full bridge from being tired, but near fall once again. Small package is getting reversed from Thunder Rosa, originally starting one, then Yamashita ends up flipping the small package, and that's how she won the Eliminator match to get this title shot. But it wasn't enough. This time Thunder Rosa was prepared. They begin to exchange kicks to the head, and then this leaves an opening. Thunder Driver is hit by Thunder Rosa for the win. I thought this was a really good women's match, Derek. I don't know how you felt about it. I liked it. Um. At first, it started a little slow for me, but then uh, it started it started picking up, and I, I got way more interested in it. Um, but you know what? I always love Thunder Rosa. <laughs> she's always she's always been good for me. But um, yeah, no, I, I thought it was a good match. It 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 did what it was supposed to do. It did. Uh, I sometimes, thought- sometimes you can't have a five star. You don't need to, though, bro. This was a match yeah. showing you, like, international boundaries and just showing you something different that we won't always have to see. Right. And and, and let, let's let's be honest, bro. Like, we all we all know some, some women's matches don't pan out to be the best. But that, but that could just be because of poor chemistry. That's – listen, the, the women's division has been being worked on. Uh, Tokyo said, Miyu Yamashita, bring her back. I like – yes, I'm a fan. Uh, Ant throwing up the hands. I appreciate you, bro. If Derek is the hate and ass world champ, I'm going for the IC belt when it comes down to the Young Bucks and their friendship storylines. <laughs> I like it, BJ. Stories uh, since New Japan ROH, different strokes. Yeah, I'm a fan of it too, E. Like, I think that's just because we watch BTE and stuff. Matt Lopez said, I DM'd you that Brody tweet. Thank you, good sir. I will check it out after this. That women's match was good. Wish it had gotten more time. I like the women's match as well. I'm with Jesus on that. I really liked it. I know we're already past it, but I thought this was going to be uh, Dante's first massive win. I didn't see it. Sorry, Uncle, I have to go to sleep. Hope you have a hope you stream tomorrow. Maybe I can come to that one. Bye. Thank you, Knowledge, for checking me out. Now get your butt in bed. <laughs> um, yeah, this was fun though. I like it. We got ourselves a good match. Now, got to run through the the news here. Hopefully, I don't pull a Excalibur with all this. AEW Rampage, we're getting Matt Seidel versus Lee Moriarty. Ethan Page versus my man, Leon Ruffin. Yo, they had a really good match on Dark Elevation, I believe it was. Watch the match on Rampage. I think they got chemistry. Ethan Page and uh, Leon Ruffin, the former NXT North American champion. Uh, Anna Jay versus Ruby Soho and Jay Lethal and the homies. Uh, Sanjay Dutt and Satnam Singh versus Orange Cassidy and the best friends. The Undisputed Elite will be back next week when me and Derek are back here once again for your AEW uh, Dynamite review. So the Undisputed Elite are back, and they had the Bucks in the pictures with Red Dragon and all of them. So we'll see, man. I hope everybody's healed up, bro. Don't come back early. Yeah, not worth it. Not worth it. I don't care about those injuries, bro. Get healthy. And then we find out some other matches. Dr. Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter versus Thunderstorm. It's gonna Thunder. Be... I can't do it that way. <laughs> You're going to start spitting. Yeah. <laughs> I had fear. I was about to put my goggles on again. What you doing, boy? <laughs> Matt Hardy versus Christian Cage will be happening next week as well. A little classic uh, TLC reminder here. TLC. Quake by the Lake will be August 10th. John Moxley will face off against Chris Jericho for the AEW Interim Championship. I like this match, and I think it's yes. the right move. Me and Derek brought this up, I think it was a week or two ago, about how Jericho should be the next person to face Moxley. I think it's going to work. It should happen. It should. And without further ado, shout out to my Canadian brethren who are nearby. October 12th and 13th, AEW is going to Toronto, Ontario, Dramatic Pause, Canada. Yes. Finally. I'm happy for my Canadian friends, man. They deserve some AEW in their lives. They've been patient. They do. They definitely do. Right? They've been very patient. So I'm happy for it. Are we going? I don't know about all that yet. I don't know if Derek's allowed to go past the border. He had a little issue the last time. I don't know. Got to check on that. <laughs> Got to make sure the case cleared. You know? Uh, I get that e the Bucks haven't even been in a funeral story that hasn't had stuff surrounding uh, by it since Dynamite has started airing. 
even during FTR, we had the hangman stuff. Claudio will speak on Rampage this week. It was tweeted out. Thank you, Matt Lopez. Matt Lopez got my back, man, when stuff's happening. Uh, the Leon Ruff and Page joint was good. Uh, BJ, there's a point to it, though. It's threaded with everything. I think Omega will return in Canada. Okay. That's a that's October, though. That's some time now. Toronto show, finally. Derek had Cornette issues at the border. <laughs> ah, we won't speak on it this week. It's not, it's not the right time. He'll have to have to speak to the EPW lawyers to see if we can talk about what has happened the last time Derek was in Canada. <laughs> it's time for the main event. I got to get that Mark Henry uh, picture for all of this. We got Brian Danielson versus Daniel Garcia. How could you be mad at this one, man? Danielson immediately comes out the woodwork here. He was tired of the shit talking, yeah. I think, tonight. <laughs> the man came in and just drop kicked this man in the corner. Like, you piece of trash. I'm tired of you talking about my gardens and my kids. The garden definitely came first, though. Yeah, it did. And we got a we got a technical wrestling masterpiece in this one, I felt. Um, it was good in my opinion, Derek, this oh, match. Yeah, absolutely. It definitely was. Daniel Garcia is able to take advantage, and it's looking like he may have rang Brian's bell. It was all part of the selling because Brian was out because of a concussion, so they're kind of teasing that in, in part of this. Garcia locks in a sleeper. Brian's able to get out, and he puts in cattle mutilation. It rings a young ROH fan heart. It makes me want to put my hand over my heart and show some respect to the classic Ring of Honor days for my man Brian dancing when I see cattle mutilation. Chef's kiss, bro. Thing of beauty. Now, after that happens, he's able to roll out of it. Danielson decides to hit a tiger suplex because that's what he does. That's what he can do. Drops him on his dome. He even hit the regal plex, the yes. trap, uh, like yes. German suplex with the leg. He's so good, bro. Uh, after that, Garcia kicks out, though. He gets a two count. Uh, they trade back and forth. Pen falls. They're going for quick pins. Danielson gets grabbed by some arm that can't be identified. He was near the apron, and someone's arm just came over like, who the heck is that? Couldn't see it. Garcia is able to take advantage, knock him out, locks in the sharpshooter with his modification sitting back. Danielson's trying to get to the ropes, but he fades. He's done. He's down. Ring the bell. Daniel Garcia beats Brian Danielson, bro. I was not expecting that to happen. Me either, man. Not expecting. Main event Garcia strikes again. Yeah. This dude, this dude always comes in and finds a way to main event. After the match, we find out though it was Jake Hager revealing it was him. He's Hang joined on. by Jericho. And they celebrate in the ring. And that's how we go off the air for uh Dynamite, man. I liked it. I liked it. It was definitely something different. Right? Definitely something different. Because you I at first I was kind of expecting uh Brian to win this match. I thought so, bro, because he's it's his return. Like people were yes. happy to see him back. Yes. But I like it though, because then this this keeps the few going. It keeps the few just fueled with fire. It has to it has to culminate to a big ending. Listen, I like it. Uh Matt Lopez said this match was great, so hard hitting. Derek pulled the tennis racket out of the trunk and swung on Border Patrol for calling them the mounty motherfuckers, just like Corny would. <laughs> Upset alert. Rob said, Y'all remember in Harlem Nights when uh Vera was beating the shit out of Quick in the beginning? That's how Danielson was doing Garcia. Yeah, yeah, he was he was jacking boys up. Great match by DG. Uh hoping we get Omega by Queen's Grand Slam. I think Omega will be back by then. I hope. Uh, I'm going to the Queen show. I hope it happens. Listen, I'm going to be at the first show after All Out. Sadly, there probably won't be a Dynamite review that night, but just know I'm having fun somewhere. Right. Feel for me. I'll try to uh, come up with something good for you guys, though, beforehand for that. Uh, positively, E says, Jack Swagger ruining everything. What's new? <laughs> Y'all leave that man alone. Hey, Zeus said thumbs up for the show. <laughs> BJ said check the messages again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's it's time. (laughs) He gave me the little Mark Henry. (laughs) Love it. So, leave me what you guys thought of tonight's show. Derek, real quick, what did you think? I thought it was a really good show. Definitely better than what last week was. Last week didn't didn't hit like it should have, but this this week, it was was definitely a a re-up. Okay. Uh, Ace said Brian Danson came back too soon. 
if Jericho does win the AW title, do we think Brian versus Jericho at All Out if Punk doesn't get cleared? I think that would be a possible matchup. Yes. I could even see Jericho and Claudio battling as well. Uh, the ending was flat for BJ, he said. I, I can see it. I can see it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, then Garcia shot the pinky toe. <laughs> Shout out to Della Reese and Eddie Murphy. Tokyo says 7 out of 10. AW, 8 out of 10. EPW, 10 out of 10. Thank you, Matt. He said thumbs up. Solid show. One of the best uh, AEW shows of the year, Jesus thought. Triple H, be damned. Thumbs up. 10 out of 10 for EPW. 7 out of 10 for AEW. Thank you, BJ. Thank you. Before we get ready to close out here, I want to get Derek's kind of quick thoughts on the future of the WWE. I know this is AEW. You guys can ignore it. But real quick, Derek. We found out about Vince McMahon. Vinnie Mac is gone. He's uh, he's through. That he is. That he is. Uh, no longer in there. I, I think I sent you a text immediately, yeah. like the moment I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Triple H is now in charge of creative direction. Stephanie and Nick Khan are the co-CEOs. We don't know who the rat is. Someone's a rat, though. Don't let it be fooled that this just happened to get found. No, nah, someone snitched. They knew about them files. They are like, yeah, I'm going to turn the old man in. I'm sick of this. Yep. Vince may be in bigger trouble with the feds because of the money being used. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. He had to forfeit some stock over as well. But, Derek, what do you think of the creative direction? Like, I was excited to kind of watch Monday Night Raw this week. And even SmackDown, I was like, yes, there's going to be something new. And I kind of want to see the changes that will be made now that Vince isn't there. Right. Um, you know what? I, I definitely think it's a, a – aside of what's going on with Vince, I definitely think it's a breath of fresh air just because – it's someone else taking care of creative. Let's face it, WWE for and for all of those who are hard body with WWE, I get it. That that's your show. AEW was mine. WWE was mine for a minute, then it fell off, and then it came back, and then it fell off again because of creative. Creative was horrible. This time around, creative was horrible. I think when you have Triple H in there, you bring something new to the table. Hopefully, he does not repeat the same steps because we need to get rid of a lot of these feuds. A lot of these feuds are just fucking stupid. They repeat so much. I got to give Tokyo a spot right here because I called this earlier. I said this is my prediction as well. If we get Rollins versus Gargano at SummerSlam, I lose my shit. I think Johnny Gargano really held out as long as possible. And I think if he is going to return, he's going to come back under Triple H now. Because I think Tony would have had him at Ring of Honor or something if he was going to debut by now. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm happy to see what's what's going to happen. Hopefully it, it, it does what it's supposed to do. Apparently, Tokyo also thinks Nick Khan is the snitch. He said Dunn and Bruce got to go. Bruce Pritchard and Kevin Dunn. Yankees just, uh, that was the trade I was going to tell you. Matthew Benintendi? Holy shit. Nick's cheating, bro. Come on now. They're cheating, bro. <laughs> the boy's cheating. <laughs> the, boy, <laughs> the boy's cheating, bro. <laughs> hater, bro. Hater, hater, hater. My side hurts. If Triple H builds that main roster like he did NXT, ooh we. I may be back in the thick of it. Uh, not like Vince being in the thick of it, though. <laughs> uh, laughing my ass off. Uh, found out Vince booked Raw from Meltzer. I don't think they're going to change anything. Like, I guess that Raw, Raw is usually done beforehand, but Vince will end up ripping that shit up just because. Dun, 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 dun. Don't let that shaky camera hit you on the way out. Damn. Please. Yeah, get rid of that garbage. <laughs> I think we have to see after SummerSlam how they're going to build to uh, Clash at the Castle goes, and then we'll see if things get better. I think we got to give this 6 to 12 months. They're not going to just want to start firing people. It'll set the stock off like yeah. that they're not stable. Uh, all 100% Nick Khan. <laughs> uh, my Tigers are ass, Tokyo said. It's all good, man. They'll yeah. get there. They'll be they'll, back. They'll, they'll, they'll get there. They always find a way to come back. They do. They do. But listen, man, keep it locked in with everything pro wrestling. If you haven't, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Those always help more people see the video as well. Uh, leave a comment with your thoughts, rating the show, whatever it may be. 
uh, just leave me a comment. And last but not least, tell a friend about everything pro wrestling. We're trying to expand our horizons. We have a Discord. We've got a, a nice place to get yourself some gear, some merch, some cool shirts. Uh, lots to offer. Check out the drum.io link below and show us some love. They got him for three minor leaguers. Dirty. <laughs> Eh, you Dirty, know. bro. Hey, but, listen, if it's a bad trade, you got to blame someone for it. I guess, but damn. Um, but listen, shout out to everybody who joined us tonight. Thank you guys so much. We're going to let this show end. For myself and the man they call Derek, we are out for this episode of Everything Pro Wrestling. Be sure to show us some love. One. One. Pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people, the best show that's here. So listen in, let the knowledge begin. The opinions, the lesson, yes, by the fans, uh, for the fans. Uh, not many in this can understand. Uh, this the podcast to show you who I am. Uh, Conrad Cushman, the legend in the plans. Uh, please listen every day to the showcase. The opinions and knowledge that anyone can take, showing you. How it is done, proving I am number one, what a legend becomes. This is now my time to show you that I am here. Uh, this podcast just to make it loud and clear. Uh, by the fans, uh, for the fans, uh, not many who's here can understand. Uh, Everything pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast here for the people, the best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin, the opinion and the lesson, yes. Everyday pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people, the best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin, the opinions, the lesson, yes.